is a problem 6 of RMO 2018 and let's quickly look at the setup of the problem. It's quite interesting actually. We have a triangle ABC and I is the in center of the triangle. So basically the intersection point of the angle bisectors. So BI is the bisector of angle B. So maybe I can write here B by 2. B over 2 and this is B over 2 and similarly this is the angle bisector of angle C so C by 2 and C by 2 and these two angle bisectors meet at the in center which is I uh, and we have a regular construction of the in circle the in circle meets the uh, triangle uh, at D E and F uh, we will join EF we join EF and extend it on both sides and we extend BI to meet this line at Y and extend CI to meet this line at X so that's that's the given condition of the problem it says that X and Y you have to assume that they are outside the triangle ABC the first thing that we have to show is B, C, Y, X. This is, these, 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 are, these four points are concyclic. And uh, the second thing is I is the in center of the triangle D, Y, X. D, D, y, X. Uh, surprisingly enough, but the second one is actually quite trivial. Uh, usually the second one is a bit uh, usually is a bit harder but second one in this case is actually quite trivial so let's see how we can do the second part first so uh, consider the triangles consider the triangles uh, let me write it here C D X triangle C D X and triangle C E X C E X, C D X, and triangle C E X. Uh, first thing first, we have C D is equal to C E, and you can observe that both of them are tangents to the circle. Both of them are tangents to the in circle, so tangents from an external point to a circle are equal, and we have angle E. Um, E, uh, D, C, X, D, C, X is equal to angle E, C, X because both of them are C by 2. Uh, that's, that's because it is an angle bisector. And uh, finally, we have C, X is equal to C, X because that's the same side. So these two triangles are congruent. These two triangles are congruent. Uh, which would mean that that this angle here is equal to this angle here because if this if this entire triangle is congruent if C E X is congruent to C D X then clearly these two angles would be equal uh, similarly one can show that triangle B okay maybe I can use black here B E B F X B F Y is congruent to B D Y B D Y and this you can try to show on your own it's exactly like this one and that would prove that this angle is equal to this one now which would mean that I Y bisects angle Y I Y bisects angle Y and I X bisects angle X which would mean that I is the in center of triangle D X Y. So this part should be very clear I mean uh, th th there is no not much to do about this one. Uh, but the sec first part that could be a little bit of angle chasing would actually fix that as well. So for example, we could show, uh, we just showed that uh, triangle 
CDX and CEX are equal. CDX and CEX are equal. So what we can do is we can show that triangle. So let's suppose this point is R. So we can show that this triangle here is congruent to maybe I can use a different color this one here. Now why is that? Uh, again CE is equal to CD so let me write that CE is equal to CD uh, CR common and uh, angle D angle ECR ECR is equal to angle DCR both of them are C by 2 so these two triangles are congruent which would mean that this angle here is a right angle this is a right angle okay so if that is a right angle then we will show that this angle is b by 2 this is our goal so goal is to show this what is b by 2 this is the goal we have not shown this yet why because if that is b by 2 then you can see that if we take cy as our chord then cy subtends angle b by 2 at the point b c b y is b by 2 if we can show c x y is b by 2 if we can show c x y is b by 2 then we are done so let me write that uh, so we know we know angle c b y is b by 2 if we can show angle c x y is b by 2 then we are done because then uh, from angles in the same segment angle subtended by same segments property we would be able to show that we would be able to conclude that C B X Y is uh, cyclic quadrilateral uh, that's and uh, let me quickly remind you what that property is if you have a chord here in this case the chord is CY and if we have two points where this chord subtends equal angles maybe this one is in this picture this one is B and that one is X B and X then the property says that these four points would be part of a single circle so the picture is not very circular though but this is the idea this is the angle in the same segment property so it is sufficient to show it is sufficient to show that angle cxy angle cxy is b by 2 and all we have shown up to this point is this angle is 90 degree and hence this one is also 90 degree. So if I can show that this is 90 plus b by 2, I'm done. If I can show this is 90 plus b by 2, I'm done. Why? Because if this is b by 2 and this is 90, this external angle will be 90 plus b by 2 so it's sufficient to show that this angle is 90 plus b by 2 so how do we show that it's actually quite a simple angle chasing uh, notice that this is a this angle is a so this is 90 minus a by 2 which would mean that this is 90 minus a by 2 vertically opposite angle 
90 minus a by 2 and this is 90 minus a by 2 and what is this angle well this is c by 2 this is 90 so this angle is 90 minus c by 2 so maybe I can use a different color this is 90 minus c by 2 so 90 minus a by 2 plus 90 minus c by 2 so 90 minus a by 2 plus 90 minus c by 2 is always equal to 90 plus b by 2 this you can easily check this this is because a plus b plus c is 180 degree so right there it's, it's a triangle so some of the angles is 180 degree so 90 minus a by 2 plus 90 plus minus c by 2 is 90 plus b by 2 which is this angle so angle r e y is 90 plus b by 2 that's what we showed here and that would mean that angle this implies angle r x e is b by 2 why is that because as I mentioned before this angle is 90 and some of these two angles is 90 plus b by 2 some of these two angles is 90 plus b by 2 so if this is 90 then this has to be b by 2 and if this is b by 2 and we already know this is b by 2 so this is a concyclic these four points are concyclic so a bit of angle chasing and uh, observation would solve this problem uh, it's a very uh, simple but a little bit of technical type of problem uh, thank you